fashion as we take a look at a new clothing trend called city wear. And in our studio... Women's fashions called city wear. That's just ahead. Review and take a look at the, one of the latest trends in women's fashion, which is called city wear. And on Minnesota Memories, we're... Features Thai food. Find out what's hot in fashion as we take a look at one of the latest clothing trends called city wear. And we'll announce super bar. More good company. Just what we're going to take. Day coat pants with stripes and cut away coat perfect fits. Putting on the Ritz. Dress up like a million dollar true pup. Trying hard to look like Gary Cooper. Come, let's mix. We're Rockefellers. Walk with sticks. We're umbrellas in the midst. Putting on the Ritz. Michael Jackson wears it. Break dancers move in it. What is it? It's city wear. Sometimes it looks faded and torn and wrecked and old. Sometimes it looks brand new. What exactly is it? That's what we're going to be finding out today. Please welcome our fashion consultant, Corbin Seitz, to tell us about it. Hello. You look great. Now, this is city wear that you have on, huh, Carmen? This is city wear, or street wear. Um, it goes by both names. And this is one of the unusual trends that started from the people up to the designers. Usually the designers, you know, make a, a style, and then they get us all to wear it. Mm -hmm. In this case, the people on the streets, particularly in New York, started this kind of makeshift trend. And then the manufacturers, it was such a big idea that the manufacturers had to start making it. It's the hottest thing in the United States. It's the hottest thing all over the world. And we're, don't be afraid of it. I know it's a little different, but you can't be afraid of it. We're going to show you how to have fun okay, with well, it. Okay, well, let's have a seat and tell us a little bit more about it. Now, some of the pictures we saw, they were literally way up to here and kind of torn and faded. And that's the look, huh? That's the look. There isn't a specific way to describe this look. I'll tell you where it came from. It, there's an overall category called hip-hop, which is rap talk. And this is off of the streets of New York, directly from the break dancers. Uh -huh. They needed uh, clothes to move in, clothes to dance in, uh, sensible kind of fabrics, free-flowing, and yet they wanted things that had uh, a real dominant kind of street-savvy look. You get a lot of the change, you get a lot of the black leather. Um, it's a very difficult look to describe, but when you see, I think, the models, you'll understand. This look also is going into graffiti kind of art, dancing music, everything. It's a whole new energy movement, a trend. Let's take a look at the tape right now, and Great. we'll see more examples of exactly what we're talking about and how it's being worn here in the Twin Cities. Now, right. our first model is wearing what? Yes, our first model, this uh, outfit is from Dayton's. Now, I want you to notice her head wrap. This is the purest form of the looks that, that you're going to see. Everything is pretty intense. She's got short boots on there. Mm. This is a jumpsuit. My hair looked like that this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, lots of uh, khaki, lots of army, lots of high-tech looking things. Uh, there isn't one specific way to describe it, but you'll get the overall feeling. This is pretty wild. This, now notice, look at her bracelets. Yeah, you'll be a uh, hit at the red owl on this yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see again, see now, she has on high boots. You can wear flat shoes, you can wear high top tennis shoes, you can wear uh, high heels. But no smiles. You can't right. smile when you're wearing That clothes. outfit was from a place called City Clothes USA, and this outfit is from Dayton's. Now, this one I want you to look at very carefully. This is a real wearable outfit. It's yeah. a beautiful yellow. You can wear it as a coat, as a coat dress. Uh, she has on some cute, you know, low-heeled shoes that are kind of fun. And this is the more wearable end of the look. So uh, don't, like I say, don't be afraid of it. You can pull a piece or two that really applies to you. Now, this is a white jumpsuit with a little black top underneath. The more outrageous, the better. I guess you're getting that idea. And uh, she has a double wrap belt, which is very popular. Uh, low, flat shoes, very, you know, I don't know, <laughs> very high-tech and not a sexy look, although this will kind of surprise you. <laughs> now, watch this. She's got on a tank top underneath, and how would you like to do that in 20-degree weather? Uh -oh. She's got on, a, on a, a big, wide, black leather belt, high-heeled pumps, 
heavy bracelets, dark glasses. So now this is a sexy look. <laughs> this is a sexy look. Whoa. She believes it too. This is great. You have to have an attitude to wear these clothes. You have to yeah. believe in what you're wearing. It's all part of this whole look. We have a couple accessories here. Let's take a look at these in yes. case you just want to buy a piece or two. What do we have here, Corbin? All right, the first thing I wanted to show you, we're talking about a head wrap that these uh, models have on. You think, well, what is that? All it is is a piece of fabric, jersey, like sweatshirt, whatever you can find, and you kind of invent your own. That's the fun part of that. Where do you put look. it on? All right, well, should I? I don't know if I can do. It's kind of like this, and then you kind of tie it, and then you kind of pull your hair up in the front. You kind of get wild, see? You kind of have to be wild with it. There you go. Well, that's kind of cute, huh? Okay. Um, <laughs> I think I get a lot of calls if I came right. out with this Then one. you have to wear these boots with it. On my that's hands or my feet? That's what you have to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, rubber, white boots. Rubber, white, metal snaps, and then this and is rubber also belt. rubber. Black rubber belt. Just uh, enjoy it. We are out of time, and they're getting frantic. We should mention that someone named Sonia. Sonia did the did makeup. The hair and makeup. Did yes, a great and job. the hair. She's from uh, uh, Tom Schmidt Salon, and just uh -huh. be inventive. Okay. That's so just be creative, it. and don't be afraid of this stuff. Wear maybe one piece. That's if right. You, if this you're is not what your kids are wearing. Yet. This is now you know what your kids are wearing. <laughs> That's great fun. Thank you, Corbin Seitz, our fashion All consultant. Right. And that is sitting there. <laughs>